In this video, we'll talk about creating the Kobe spreadsheet from the Kobe extension for Revit. For the Kobe spreadsheet to be created and with its most up-to-date, accurate information, you have first you need to set up your project, your contact information, zones, what elements you want to actually export for the Kobe extension, and you need to update those parameters. Once those steps are completed, now you can create your spreadsheet. When you click on Create Spreadsheet, you are able to select the different sheets that you want to create for your Excel spreadsheet. You can choose which ones that you want to create by checking them on or off. Over here in the file location, you can create a new file and save it to this location, or you can append to an existing file. If you do use the append, it will add all the data to an existing spreadsheet, so you may end up with some duplicate data. In this example, I'm going to create a brand new file. I'm also going to leave every single sheet here selected. Something to note here is that when you are creating all your criteria and adding it to your model, the more sheets that you have selected here, the longer this process can take. This process can take several minutes. In this example, I'm going to create the spreadsheet, and then we're going to open up the spreadsheet and talk a little bit about how it was set up. When the creation process is completed, here it will tell you if there are any issues found when validating your export and could cause your sheet to not be Kobe compliant. For this, I did not have the facility name set. Any other issues will be listed here as well. Now I can either close this or I can open up the file. When I click open file, it will open up the file in Microsoft Excel. Now that your Excel spreadsheet is open, we can talk a little bit more about this. Here it tells you what the title is, version, release, status and region information, purpose and the outline, and other information can be found here in the instruction portion of the Kobe Excel spreadsheet. You will also notice that down here you have sheets created for you already, contact, facility, floor, space, zone, type, component, system, and then other information here as well. Here if I go to contact, we now notice that the contact information that we added in earlier gets transferred right over here. Facility data, data can be found in this spreadsheet, as well as any floor information, space information, of course zones, type, and type here it tells you the type of components you have and the type properties here for that particular family type inside your model. Here in component, this will show you all the component data associated to your component families. Here's your system information as well. In a previous video, we talked about attribute data that you can export into the Kobe Excel spreadsheet. 
you can find that information in attribute here. Something to understand here is that each line item is a parameter here that you wanted to have exported. Also something to note is that you will only get parameters exported for type or components or systems that you also exported. So if you don't export a type, component, or system, the corresponding parameter or attribute won't get exported either. This is probably one of the longest sheets that you can export into a Kobe Excel spreadsheet. This accounts for the majority of the time taken to create the Kobe Excel spreadsheet. So if you do not need that information exported into an actual Kobe submittal, I would suggest checking it off when you are ready to create the spreadsheet. If you need any of this data updated, you can of course come right back to the Revit model come up to create spreadsheets and simply append that data. Make sure that when you are appending, you're only appending new data from the model. 